In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve for an unknown or x value for a continuous uniform distribution where we're given a probability and we're given the upper and lower limits for the distribution. Um, and in this example, we want um, or we're given the probability of less than a certain amount. Um, so let's go through it now. So the problem setup. When driving to your university campus from home, your commute times follow a uniform distribution and are between 30 and 55 minutes. Question, 30% of the time it takes you less than how many minutes to get to campus? Okay, so first thing I recommend, as always, is to draw out a little number line here. So I'm just going to pause and draw that out. Okay. And now we need to think about less than how many minutes to get to campus. So 30% of the time takes you less than how many minutes. So I'm going to do a line here like this. And this 30% is going to be less than this amount of time, whatever that amount of time is. We don't know what it is, and that's what we're trying to solve for. I'm just going to straighten out this line a little bit. What we also know is that all the times are always between 30 and 55 minutes and we're looking for this value this time amount such that 30 percent of the times are below that amount i strongly recommend doing a drawing like this to see or kind of picture what's happening uh, and this will help us understand kind of what a is and b then this will also understand our boundaries here. So our shaded region or that 30% region um, spans from uh, 30 all the way up to this boundary or this cutoff. So that cutoff is the x2, if that makes any sense. Remember, our formula is always the following. The probability that x is between x1 and x2 is x2 minus x1 divided by b minus a. Uh, and in our case, we happen to know that that probability is equal to the 30%. I'm just going to pause and shift this formula down a little bit. Okay, so let's, sorry, I just moved things around here a little bit so we have some room to work. Let's start filling in what we know. So again, we know that the probability or the area below x here is that 30%. And we figured out that what we're trying to solve for is actually the x2 value. And that x1 must be 30. And we know that our boundaries, b is 55 and a is 30. Um, so this ends up giving us um, 0.3 when we cross multiply here, I'll just change colors, we'll times the 0.3 by the 55 minus 30 and shift that up. That ends up giving us the following, um, that 0.3 times 55 minus 30 gives us x minus 30. Um, okay, and so 0.3 times 55 minus 30 um, gives us 0.3 times 25 and x minus 30. Um, and let's see what this gives us as well. And we can shuffle things around here. So I'm going to, um, let's do it this way, to get rid of the 30 on the right hand side, I'm going to add it to both sides. So that 30 is going to move to the left hand side now and give me x. So I'll pull up the calculator here and we'll have a look at what this gives us. Okay, so 0.3 times the 25 gives us seven and a half plus the 30 
gives us 37.5. So that is that cutoff right here. Or if you will, you can say that 30% uh, of the time, your travel times are less than 37.5 uh, minutes. Okay, that concludes this example. Thanks for watching.